the sanctuary of our teacher, the Ancient One. The Ancient One? What's his real name? Right. Forget everything I think I know. Sorry. Um, thank you for... Whoa. Okay, that's a, a thing. Uh, thank you. F Hello. Oh, thank you. And thank you. But uh, thank you, Ancient One, for seeing me. You're very welcome. The Ancient One. Thank you, Master Mordo. Thank you, Master Hamir. Mr. Strange. Uh, doctor, actually. Well, no, not. Anymore, surely. Isn't that why you're here? You've undergone many procedures. Seven, right? Yeah. It's good tea. Yes. Did you heal a man named Pangborn, a paralyzed man? In a way. You helped him to walk again? Yes. How did you correct a complete C7, C8 spinal cord injury? Well, I didn't correct it. He couldn't walk. I convinced him that he could. You're not suggesting it was psychosomatic. When you reattach a severed nerve, is it you who heals it back together or the body? It's the cells. And the cells are only programmed to put themselves back together in very specific ways. Right. What if I told you that your own body could be convinced to put itself back together in all sorts of ways? You were talking about cellular regeneration. That's... Leading edge medical tech. Is that why you're working here without a governing medical board? I mean, just how experimental is your treatment? Quite. So you figured out a way to reprogram nerve cells to self heal? No, Mr. Strange. I know how to reorient the spirit to better heal the body. The spirit to heal the body. That's right. All right, how do we do that? Where do we start? Don't like that map? Oh, no, it's, it's really good. It's just, you know, I've seen it before in gift shops. <laughs> and what about this one? Acupuncture, great. Yeah? What about that one? You're showing me an MRI scan. I do not believe this. Each of those maps was drawn up by someone who could see in part, but not the whole. I spent my last dollar getting here. One way ticket and you're talking to me about healing through belief. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. And you've spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole, to see more, to know more. And now, on hearing that it can be widened in ways you can't imagine, you reject the possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. There is no such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more. You're just another tiny, momentary speck within an indifferent universe.